I think we're there. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, I'm a little blown out. I'm trying out my new spot right in front of my window. I'm trying to figure out the best time of day to do it. This is obviously the best time of day for wrinkles because it keeps blowing my face out. Sorry about that. We'll keep, we'll keep trying. I might need, I don't know, curtains. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, um, I wanted to go on a little earlier, but uh, life. I was thinking, I'm not committing to anything. Let's just put that out there right now. I'm not committing to anything. But it occurred to me that I am like ready to go in the morning. My creativity is on in the morning and trying to do lives in the afternoon or the evening when I know is a popular time because you're home from work. But you're t think of how you feel when you get home from work. How creative do you feel? <laughs> and I've been painting all day. And so I was watching some of my lives at like 7.30 where I'm like, and then, and then, <laughs> and I was like, what if I thought about just going uh, live with you guys like in the morning, I got my coffee, I'm ready to go, I'm excited, and uh, y'all can watch the replay, or those of you who work from home, like, can have your coffee with me. So I'll try to start a little earlier than, you know, 10 o'clock coffee. I was aiming for more like 9 o'clock coffee. So let me make sure we're all set up here and everything's going. I know most of you aren't even aware that I'm going live right now, but hopefully you'll be getting some alerts and you can join me try to make this more regular. So let's talk about coffee for just a second while we wait for some people to realize that we're online. Okay, I know. I splurged today. I bought coffee because I ran out of coffee, and so I splurged at 7-Eleven. And okay, here's what I want to tell you about saving our planet. Okay, I have a way for us to save our planet. Stop using the stir sticks. Uh, and stop using all the stuff and making a huge mess and having to use paper towels to clean it up. Here's what you do, okay? Now, you may already do this, but I keep looking around at all these people making this huge mess. So here's what you do. Good morning, Chris. I'm glad you found me. I'm trying going live in the craft club and on Tangled Works and on YouTube. The only thing I can't make happen is Instagram. And I could put another camera here for Instagram, but I've watched people who go live on Instagram at the same time and their eyes are going like this. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. So I'm not gonna do that for now. Till I figure out how to make my eyes make eye contact with you in two different places. Maybe if I put them right there and I looked right between you, but then I mean, it'd be, it'd be like watching someone you think has like a lazy eye or something. I mean, it'd be hard. I'm trying to make eye contact with you. I already have to remember to look here at the little dot and not at the screen. Anyway, here's what you do. If you go get your coffee at 7-Eleven like I do, you put your creamer or your sugar or your packets of hazelnut in the bottom. First, you get your cup, you put it in the bottom, you put however many you want. You know how much you want. You don't need to think about it. You know if you take two or eight, you know that already. Put your sleeve on, get your little lid, and you're all set. Then, if you're doing sugar, okay, listen up. If you're doing sugar, Put in a little coffee and just go like this. Get it all melted. Then put in the coffee. You're done. You don't need to stir it. You don't need to stir stick. And you don't need to slosh it all over the place while you stir in your sugar in next to me. Okay? I think 7-Eleven should hire me to train everybody how to make their coffee in the morning. <laughs> there. That's my public service announcement. You don't need a stir stick. You don't need a napkin to clean up. And you can make it any way you want. Put your stuff in first. Put in your coffee. Enough. Okay. Let's get creative. Right? See? Yeah, Chris does it. It's the way it should be done. Why are you waiting till your coffee's all the way at the top? Like, that's why I don't like to go to Starbucks. Because they give me these coffees all the Room for cream? Sure. So either they give me, like, that much room or they give me that much room. And then I'm like, put some more coffee in there, lady. I paid a freaking eight dollars for this. I want some more coffee. Um, and then I have to go over there and I have to like kind of stir it like this. I'm trying really hard not to make a mess. Right? It's just dumb. Just go to Seven Eleven. Just as good. Okay. That's what we're working on. So those of you who weren't on last week, 
Uh, sorry, it's blown out. Let me see if I can get in there a little better. There we go. Okay. Plastic pumpkin. Uh, don't even remember where I got it. Probably Michael's end of season sale last year for half off, most likely. So get ready for that because... November, end of November. Grab these up for next year, okay? So, then we used, which one did we use? We used Bell Orchids. Mold. Redesigned by Prima. I got them right here. All right. Uh, I'll put in a link. You can buy them straight from me, and I'd certainly appreciate that. Um, Because that's what we do here. We make things and sell things to make things. For you and show you how to do it all right so also the hint was to use a little bit of what was that that we used not arrowroot I always get these mixed up cornstarch and one of our uh, viewers last week said um, dum dum <gasps> put it in a salt shaker and that would be a brilliant idea because I don't like touching it I don't like touching it and, ah! Okay, it makes me crazy. All right, so today what I want to do is I've done a lot of blues. Y'all have seen that. And I've done purples. So I think we need to do some fire colors. So here's kind of the blue one I did. Blues and purples, blues and turquoise. This one was a custom order uh, for a purple. She hasn't come to get it yet, so I hope she comes soon. Um, This one was my first one, so more of like an antique blue with highlights of green. So we've, we've done the cool colors. Let's do some hot colors. Hot, hot, hot. Even though Bell Orchids probably aren't red, I don't care. So let's have some fun anyway. Anyway, um, Chris, I'm super excited that you have... Um, let me tilt you guys down so I can show you what we're doing. That you have gotten your artwork printed. That is fantastic. I want to find out more from you because um, I have some alcohol ink designs that I've done that I think I would like to do the same thing. I think that sounds like a really great idea. Um, I was like, how am I going to make enough for the holidays? And then somebody had said to me earlier, like, well, um, you know, print them. And I was like, oh, you mean you can replicate? Here's my breakfast. Here's my breakfast from 7-Eleven. All right. So I'm sorry. I know most people on YouTube have like these really pretty little workstations and everything's white and, um, yeah, try another channel. <laughs> we get real around here. Okay. So what I am going to do today is use Dixie Bell. All right, because I want some bright colors today, and we are going to use Honky Tonk Red. And I'm thinking either we will work with Colonel Mustard, like I'm imagining an ombre pattern kind of going red up to the tips, okay? Um, sorry, that's still so blown out. We might have to think about that. And then what I want to do is highlight it. Um, with this new wax that I got from Redesign with Prima, Firebird, okay? And I do have all of these products right on my website. And uh, so if you like the way it looks, love to have you come check it out. Get some for yourself. And um, this has been a lot of fun. And once I got the hang of doing the molds, and once I figured out the mold release, oh my God, things went so much faster so much faster so here's my pretty little plate I don't know where my plates went I'm just gonna use this today I don't need much and um, I started carrying Dixie Belle because here's the thing I I I'm torn between two lovers I really am because there are qualities of both of these paints you know like I'd like to be an ambassador for Dixie Belle, but I also, I'm not going to leave Debbie's because I love Debbie's and their paints are just so different in the way they work. Um, but Dixie Belle, I joined in that because it really, really, really had, um, the vibrancy I was looking for. 
and I love mixing it and I actually love mixing it with Debbie's because I love the chalkiness and the blending of Debbie's so I may end up blending a lot of different colors today because for Debbie's I have liquid sunshine and fire starter so let's just see what happens so let's get a little bit of this on here I'm gonna go kind of from the bottom oh yeah and what I learned to do on these last few, uh oh, it. all right, I think I'm going to have to restart. Let's see. Oh, can you catch on? Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Are we back? Sorry about that, kids. Let me... Oh, no, we're not back. Darn it. If my phone rings, if I didn't put it on, it, um, it can't find it again. It just, it just loses its ability. Jump off and I'll jump right back in. Oh, wait, are you gonna? Am I back? I'm not seeing me. Chris, I'm not seeing it there. It's not on my screen, so I can't tell. I think what it's doing is there we go. Oh, so sorry. Camera. Okay, I think that's it. Let me go in while I'm here. Gone again. Okay, let me go in while I'm here. Turn on Do Not Disturb. See if we can keep it going. Yeah, we're on FaceTime camera. So that that's why it was there. All right, let's flip it around. Flip it around so you're not seeing my window. Okay. Yeah, all right, I think we're back. Hey, Lisa. All right, I think we're back. Sorry, kids. Good now. All right, I've got it on Do Not Disturb. Um, the problem with going on all these multiple channels is that um, if I get a call when I'm doing a live, I can just say, go away. <laughs> but if I get it when I'm uh, doing it through this multi-stream processor, it just like blows the whole thing to bits. So I've got to remember to put my phone in do not disturb mode. Anyway, so this is pretty cool. I like this red. I'm just going to go kind of all over the bottom, kind of glooping it on there, and then we'll start doing some blending. Now, you can definitely blend with Dixie Belle. The difference is that it doesn't reconstitute itself, right? It's not like orange juice. You can't just add water. You can for a while. You can for a while to get it um, like when you're when you're playing with it. But if I were to come back in a few hours later today, nah, -uh, it's done, it's done. But look at this color, isn't that beautiful? You guys can see that okay. All right, so, um, see how fast I'm going? I'm just, but I'm really digging in, I'm using a little brush and I'm digging into all these little nooks and crannies. Okay, we're gonna go back in and highlight them later but you really gotta look at it from lots of different angles. And if you're having trouble getting it into the nooks and crannies, just spritz it with a little water. Just water it down a little bit and really let it run in. And look at it from different angles. Like tilt it over and go up underneath it. And if you've had any place where your piece has separated, um, you know, get in those too. Cause what we're gonna end up doing I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get the uh, dust 
from Debbie's, the decrepit dust. I think that's really going to help us out on some of these getting kind of that aged look. The wax works well, but I've heard that the new dust is awesome. So I want to get an order in for that. Okay. So like right in here. I really want to kind of get it in there. Let me tilt this down a little bit more so you guys can see even better. And I've got on the screen, those of you watching on Facebook, I've got on the screen right now um, the URL to my YouTube channel. Okay, because YouTube's better at giving out alerts than I am. So if you subscribe and you want to know when I'm going live, it'll give you a little notification on your phone. Oops, lost a bit. All right, so just, and, and Dixie Bell dries really fast too. So we're going to be able to really get a lot done here. All right. Hello, my darling. So tell me what's new with you. I can see my screen now. Chris has been painting flowers and turning them into prints, which I think is just awesome. I've been doing more. Um, I'm trying to up my alcohol ink flower game myself. Um, I'm thinking about investing in, I already have, I have a compressor, right? You guys know that it's noisy as hell. Uh Oh, where'd I go? Oh no, it's gone out again. All right, hold on. All right, guys, <laughs> I'm just having technical issues today. We're just going to go straight from, I'm just going to tilt down. This is the, the uh, HD camera on my, I mean, not the HD camera. There we go. We're just going to do this. Actually, the light's almost better there. We're just going to go straight from my laptop. Hopefully the audio is still okay. I think I'm going to have to get the lighting right anyway with the morning light because the laptop's actually blocking the light right now itself, and which is actually better because it's a little bit glary. Um, anyway, what I was saying is I was thinking about um, investing in an air compressor. Well, I have an air compressor. Investing in an airbrush compressor, uh, a quiet one. If any of you guys no one please let me know oh good 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 um because my air compressor is so noisy i can't do lives y'all know from the the live last night with the air compressor like i had to have you guys turn down your volume and then i started doing a little bit more research and realized that it doesn't have to be that way all right all right you guys vote do you want me to open up we can do kernel mustard or liquid sunshine mixed with a little bit of fire starter. Y'all let me know. Hold on, let me read your comment here. Yeah, you were surprised because they came out really well. I'm so glad. All right, kids, let me know which color we should do next. Go with the red and this is really giving us good full coverage I gotta tell you um, well let me know where you got them printed because if it's good maybe I'll give it a shot because I have a couple that I've done alcohol inks on tiles so I was trying to figure out sunshine you got it Lisa I was trying to figure out what like do I scan them do I take a photograph of them like, what did you do with your artwork, Chris, that you were able to, um, that you were able to get them high resolution printed? 
All right, I'm trying not to make this too even. I don't want it to be like an even line. So I'm gonna kind of go up in a couple areas. You know me, I don't like things straight across. But just that little dollop of paints going a long way. And if you're just joining us, I know, I know that these flowers aren't red. <laughs> so, um, here's something else I learned this week. This is so funny, the things I learned. I learned the term, I know, you guys are either going to be like, what, I didn't know that term, or you're going to be like, Sue, you are such a dumbass. How, what kind of rock have you been under that you don't know that term? But, well, first let me tell you how I got to it. I've been really dreaming about doing an episodic YouTube show on completely redoing my house because I have neglected it for so long while I fixed up the store, okay? And it's it has not gotten another color on it, you guys. It's got, gotten another color in probably five years. I probably painted the living room. All right, liquid sunshine. I probably painted the living room and I did, I, the only thing I've done is I've done stuff for my kids. I fixed up their rooms with murals and things, but I haven't done anything. And like, I wander around my house going, this isn't me. Like there are rooms and there are portions that are me, but they're me that I haven't finished or it's not really me. So I was looking to see about and I have this idea of the design I want. And I just didn't know what to name it. I didn't know what to name it. So I went on Pinterest. I went on YouTube. Because although I would say my style is kind of boho, it's not really. And, and the reason it's not is because I kill plants. And bohemian is very plant-based. You know, the hanging plants and the layers and um, the rugs. And it's often very often very um, not neutral it's layered fabrics and textures it does have color but I realized I wanted more color than what I see in standard kind of bohemian so then I was looking at Mexican I was looking at all this stuff and then somewhere somebody said maximalism and I went what pray tell is that what is max and then I went oh yeah this is gonna be good so this is just the same brush, putting the liquid sunshine on. So I started going down this road and finding, took the original, scan them. You scan them. I think I could scan, I think I could scan my tiles. I think I could do that. I might have to take them somewhere. But you guys, a whole new world has opened up for me that I did not know about. Why didn't I know about this? Why didn't I know that that was my style? And now I would I would argue to say it's not my style exactly. Yeah, definitely, Lisa. I mean, you don't have to have a bunch of plants. I'm kind of being silly about that. But what I mean mostly is that they had um, a worldly look to them that was me but not quite me. And then I started... Then I started looking more at maximalism and what it was. And what it is, in my opinion, is just really, really layering, 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 layering. And I've seen some maximalism that was really candy, silly, coated, lots of colors, a little, a little too much for me, actually. Um, too, too candy store. Okay, too candy store. But then I started finding some really deep and moody ones. And I realized that that's what I really like, but I've been a little scared to do it. I really have. I've been scared to kind of layer a lot of things in a room. And I realized that I've been doing it at, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get where you can see. I've been doing it at my store. I just haven't done it at my house. And part of it's because it requires dusting. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't want more shit I have to clean up. I don't want to arrange anymore. I just want to get through the day unscathed. Like, I, that's all I want. Like, and, and so I just keep things very simple. And I, I keep them colorful, but pretty simple. But I'm like, you know, no, I want to I wanna go a little crazier. I want to have some more textures and colors and 
fun light fixtures. And then I thought, well, what if I documented it? Wouldn't that be kind of fun? You know, and brought everybody along on the journey. So maximalism. So now here's what I'm going to tell you. I think, so really that red and that yellow make fire starter. I don't think I need fire starter. Um, so I'm going to kind of, I'm going to kind of take the colors and go down. Where is that white that I'm seeing? Is it there? Ah, there it is. That's what I mean. You kind of got to go to different areas. And remember, this is my first coat. So I am going to have a little bit of white showing through here, but I think that's looking pretty good. Um, I think I'm media. All right, help me come up with my own word. I Mediumism. I don't think, I mean, basically maximalism is uh, an answer to minimalism. All right. From what I've read. It's really about, um, you know, getting away from that Scandinavian design and really layering textures and colors and patterns. And once I started looking, you know, then it's just everywhere. It's like when you're pregnant and then you see that the whole world is pregnant. That's what it was like. All of a sudden last night I'm, I'm looking for something on YouTube and, um, you know, all this, well, it's because I was searching on YouTube before, so that's not a big surprise, but then I went on to uh, Netflix last night, and, oh God, maybe it is just a giant conspiracy, you know, Netflix is showing me this new design channel, and um, this new design challenge show, and I was like, cool, interior design, I'll watch that. So I spend my time in store. Oh, awesome, awesome decorating your life. I know, right? We spend all this time creating beauty and decorating our stores. And then I don't feel when I come into my own house that I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm kind of, I have little pockets, but I got to tell you, I'm going to take you guys on a full tour of my house right now. I have, and I'm ashamed to say it, but I'm going to share it anyway. I have acoustic, I have, a, um, a commercial acoustic drop ceiling in my bedroom. Why the hell is that? Is that so? I have no idea. When we bought the house, we could not figure it out. We're like, was this room used? Like, was there a drummer in here? I have no idea what's happening. I had so it has frilly wallpaper and acoustic drop ceiling. Right. Okay. You're a media millist. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. Hashtag or would it be media millist or mediumist? What do you guys think? Let's do it. Cause some of the maximalist stuff I look at and I go, Oh no, 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 no. I am not dusting that. I can't, I can't. That's too much. That's too much going on for my eye, for my brain. I can't take that. This is really working. You guys like it? It's just first coat, so we'll we'll get all this we'll get all this blending a little better once we head around the bend again. It's always a little splotchy the first time, especially with Debbie's paint, even more than with Dixie Belle. And see, it doesn't blend as well right here um, because the Dixie has already the Dixie's already dried. Um, but you can still we'll still work it out. We'll still work it out. Mediumist. <laughs> Well, wait, but now I think, now Lisa, I think that now we're, um, people are going to think we're, think we're, we're clairvoyant. <laughs> we're not clairvoyant. We just like layered looks. Mm. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, what I'm thinking is, and I know I put too much on my plate. And I scare off my business coaches. I mean, like, literally, they see my email in their inbox, and I know they're like, oh, my God. My one job is to keep her from completely going off the rails, and she's got another idea. Damn it. Um, seriously. Like, I'm sure there are creative coaches out there that are there to help people, you know, realize their dreams and figure out their passion and, you know, get involved in stuff. And I basically have a team of people trying to stop me that I pay to stop me. So I focus on the things that I already started, but you know, hashtag creative, hashtag artist.
Yeah, Lisa, I think I think medium-a-list. It doesn't roll off the tongue. Maximalist, minimalist, medium-a-list. But it's funny. It's funny. I think we should use it. Okay, I'm going to start it. All right, so I'm just kind of going in here. I'm going to dip kind of into my red and try to blend that a little bit. This looks really good. I mean, it doesn't right now, but I see things as they're going to be, not as they are. <laughs> I think that's why I've been able to live in my house in the in the way that it is, because I don't really see it the way that it is. I kind of see it in its future. Uh, oh, I knocked it off. Oh, well, it'll be fine. Uh, in its future tense, but yet I'm getting frustrated with that. Like, I'm kind of done with that. I'm like, no, 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 no. I want it done now. I actually want to walk in to, you know, my teal painted cabinets and the wallpaper ceiling. I don't know what I want to do. Oh, it looks like candy corn. Oh, I guess it does. I don't think it will when it's all done, though. But I see your point. And, and that's why I didn't want to, unless that was a compliment, um, that's why I don't want to uh, have it go in straight lines. We're going to kind of mix it up more. And with the gold that we're going to put on, that's going to do it. And then we're going to also, um, we're going to do some low lights and highlights. I know it is time to finish. So here's, here's what I said to my husband, who, mm, I love him, but he's not a handyman. Like I see some of these shows out there, you know, Chip and Goanna Gaines and the whole, all right, I'm going to flip this over. So I get underneath now. Um, yeah, there we go. I'm going to get all these. We are not that couple. We're not that couple. We're kind of snarky. Um, I mean, we're funny in our own way. We've been told we're, we're, we're fun to be around. But we're kind of, we are kind of snarky and we're kind of dry-witted humor. So, you know, there'll be people who would watch us and be like, wow, is that working out for them? Is that marriage working out? <laughs> Those of us who know us know it's our way of communicating through snark and disdain and judgment um, and love. So I said to him, I was like, look, I think this show would, if we do it, would be pretty funny if you did it with me. I mean, how do you feel about that? And he got scared as he should. And he's like, I know, but I don't know. He's like, I'm not, you know, when he fixes the washer, he'll fix the washer. But I mean, it could take a month of YouTube videos for him to fix the damn washer. Um, I was like, you know, we wouldn't be able to do things like that. We'd have to kind of do it. So what I think we're going to try is, I can't see from upside down. Where, where are all those little white spots? I could see them here. Then I can't see them when I get here. They're like reflecting. It might not be white. It might be that it's ref the light reflecting in. I can't really tell. Anyway, so what I was thinking is have, have Brian kind of try. Like the first thing I want to do is the bathroom. And what I'd like to do is take out the ugly 80s, all the bathroom stuff. Oh, I see. I knocked off a flower. That's why. Um, and put in a vanity, maybe from an old piece of furniture that I paint. You know, a lot of people ask me how to do that, and then I could show people how to do that. The thing is, I don't really know how to do that, and neither does Brian. But I think the idea of the show would be, not only are we going to go for a medium-a-list look with layered colors and lots of bright stuff, like that like that picture you sent me, Chris. Um, remember that picture you sent me last week of the porch? I just loved it. I loved it so much. That was more maximalist, definitely. All right, now I'm getting into my, I'm going through and adding more colors. Yeah, I, I definitely, I, yeah, I definitely try to get them both involved for sure. Um, you know, they're selling teens right now. So, but they're both artistic. I mean, they're both really artistic. Um, so there's definitely possibilities there for that. All right, it's starting to come together. Do you see kind of the layers? And as I'm going kind of like just splotching on now, 
me put a little bit of the orange. Now that it's drying, we can kind of get more layers going. There we go. Um, but I was, but but I was thinking. So yeah, I mean, it would be kind of like. Sorry, I keep talking over myself, but here's the thing. When I watch these shows, I'm often frustrated by how much they know and they have like the workbench set up and they have that, oh, we're just going to miter that. And I'm like, what's a miter? I mean, I know that now, but, uh, and then they're, they're, they make it seem so easy, which is nice, but I kind of want someone to show me how to do it. But that it's not that easy. It's 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 a little hard. Don't try to oversell me on it being easy because I'm just going to be mad at you later when I try to do it and it's not that easy. So just be honest with me from the beginning that, all right, this is a little complicated. These are the things you might want to buy. This is what you might want to have someone else do. This, this part really didn't work out. You know, like be honest with me um, or at least don't make a YouTube video out of it. I watched like one last night on uh, alcohol inking and I hate when they're like, we're going to try this. And then you get to the end. Um, and then, oh, well, that didn't work. Then why'd you make a freaking YouTube video out of it? Maybe lead with, maybe title it. <laughs> Here's an idea. Uh, how to avoid these mistakes that I made. See, I'll watch that because I make mistakes and I like to avoid mistakes too. Not, here's how to do this and oh, it didn't work. They should be banned from the internet. <laughs> they should be banned. All right, so I'm getting there. Anyway, so I'm thinking, yeah, we'll have Brian kind of help and uh, learn as we go. And I'll be learning as I go. And I really want to do this because it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. All right, I know this looks kind of hideous right now, but I think what I need to do is let it be. Let it be, let it dry, okay? And then get the next layer on here. But I do, I have just lots of just, they put a bathroom sink in. Yes, I saw, I saw that they did that. So I might be watching them, but, but Zeb, like Zeb knows what he's doing. Zeb knows what he's doing. I don't have a Zeb. Right. Um, so I've worked with Jamie. Jamie's hilarious. Jamie, like Jamie and I were on the same boot camp team and Jamie's, Jamie's like, she's on fire. She's on fire when she's doing stuff. She's like, Doom, boom, boom. Like she, she was, she was like everything she touched, she had a power sander in her hand. Like the rest of us are like sanding and sanding blocks. And Jamie, like, I swear to God, she was just walking around this power sander. Like, I got this. I got this. It was pretty hilarious. Um, and I, and I, I do, I kind of have envy that she's, she's got, you know, um, this built in, partner and partner who can do all of this construction stuff and like, Hey, let's put in the sink and sure. I'll, I'll get out the jigsaw for you and make you a new sign. And da, 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 da. okay, I don't have that. Um, but I have a willing partner who is kind and who's always game for trying something with me, who at least for a few episodes, um, will try and humor me and be like, we'll just be the dum dums figuring it out a little bit more. So we'll see if that, we'll see if that works. Yeah, youth. Uh, oh, it took three months to do your floors. Oh, God. Yes. No, I, I don't. I mean, I think what I'll do is balance some live, but mostly edited because, yeah, I mean, these things are going to take a while. I'll have to edit out where we start yelling at each other <laughs> or not. <laughs> we, um, we did the ceiling in our house in San Francisco with wallpaper, um, the embossed wallpaper that I painted silver and we hung that together and we told everybody that was the, um, that's when we knew we could stay married because we made it, we made it through that. We used to do a lot of that stuff together. So there's another part of me, you guys, it's like feeling like 
this could be good. We're going to be empty nesters in a few years and we need to have some projects we do together. And, um, he usually likes this stuff and he, he always likes the style. He always likes the style I do. So that's nice. He wasn't always that way. Really, Lisa? Tell me more. He didn't know how to do that shit. Cause there's hope. There's hope. <laughs> No, they are very transparent and Jamie's a love and she's been, um, she's a really good, um, mentor. I reached out to her a few times and she's told me she's, yeah, she holds nothing back. She's told me very clearly about their journey and how they, they got to where they are. And, um, but I didn't know that about Zep that he really wasn't cause he's always kind of come across as just, I got this even on their trip to, um, Paris, it sounded like he was the one who was like, I got this. I'm going to get the keys. I'm going to get the car. I'm going to, um, I got the lights on here. Um, you know, he kind of got everybody out of a bad situation for a little bit there. So, but I, I, yeah, I'll go look, I'll go look a little bit more and, uh, and see, maybe we can get inspired by that. Um, cool. All right, you guys, thank you for coming on for crazy coffee time with Sue. I'll keep working on getting the lighting in here better. And uh, maybe I'll come back in tomorrow morning and keep going on this. So you can see where I use the um, Dixie Bell, it's still red. But where I use the Debbie's, it's lightened up. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to call my husband handy. Very smart. That's the problem. He's very analytical. And he, he takes a long time to figure things out. And when he does, they're right. But I'm going to be like... Yeah, yeah, Lisa, it's, it sounded like they had a nightmare, a nightmare trip in Paris. Um, looks like they made the best of it, and they got through, um, but I think uh, Debbie actually released the name of the tour guide. I guess she got legal permission to do that so that nobody else would go with this person. Um, all right, kids, I'm going to go finish my coffee, finish cleaning up, starting the day. This was fun. I got so much more done because it's the first thing in the day. All right. Mwah. Bye, kids.